I'm asking about the federal and state taxes that were at my store on Falls Road that were not paid. It was. And, and, and we um and, and we charged you for them. You didn't charge me. It was not reported. They were collecting money and running a business and never turned in right, any money. So, so, so did you bring in the information? I came in okay, and. You did the ID theft on it, okay? Yeah, and nobody did anything. Nothing was never done. I got a, I got sole proprietorship. Nobody should have been able to touch my money, go in my store or anything while I was locked up and incarcerated. I was, uh, I was not, I got sole proprietorship. You're supposed to protect my money and protect my property. I'm a business. I'm a corporation. The controller is supposed to protect my money and my property. They didn't do that. Schellenberger knowingly lied to the pup. Schellenberger took my property that was submitted for this case on February the 7th, 2011. I had all the evidence in my truck in the state of Maryland. Took my truck, my computer, and all the evidence concerning this case. This case concerns Governor O'Malley and the corruption that's going on. The same thing that they're talking about in the... Department of Justice report. I did an independent. I did an independent investigation about that. I was uh, making a movie about that, and part of this movie went through the controller's office and the money. Do you understand? Okay, so it should go. Who who was your contact to with, when when you filed your complaint with 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 the, with the state of Maryland? I didn't. They didn't give me a contact num name or number. They just. I came in and spoke to a person I was never talked to again. So I sent this letter detailing everything to you in June of 2016. And, and you may have had no reply. And, and, and where, where Nobody you? has replied. And it was addressed to it was addressed to the comptroller of Maryland, Frank Cott. I mean, yeah, Frank Cott, 80 Calvert Street, Annapolis, Maryland. General Mailroom Manager Annapolis. It was signed for on June the 18th. I have I have no note of this it's, it being noted in, but that, I know your personal name, but that, that's all I have here. Well, that's is there a way that we can... I, I have, we have you up at, at the Annapolis office on the... Um, Annapolis office on February the 5th. Can I come in? Can we set up an appointment that I can come in and we can resolve this issue, file a proper complaint and address you, this issue? You, you can, yes, you can come in. You can come into an office. and I don't even think you need an appointment. We do have field offices. Are you, where are you located? I'm I'm currently on I'm currently homeless. I'm not located anywhere. I'm trying to get my property and my money back now. Oh, wait, where where are you? OK, you're homeless. But um, are you in Baltimore? Are you yeah, in I'm in Baltimore. Okay, you know we have our, our, um, our an office at 301 West Preston Street. I've been down to Preston Street. They haven't been able to help me. That's why I came to Annapolis because I wanted to I wanted to uh, directly deal with it. Can I set up an appointment that I can speak to a person and present my material to see so y'all can do something about this? Y'all permitted this man to get off with a hundred and over one hundred fifty thousand dollars in unpaid taxes from the federal and state government, and he's still running a business. And you did nothing about it. That was my money. That was my business. And you're supposed to protect my property and my interests. I need to speak to somebody. And me and Frank Cott even spoke personally face to face. And he told me to get in touch with y'all. So I really need to speak to somebody. I'm tired of chasing my tail. Let, 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 okay. All right. Let, let me give you a, a person you can talk to in, in Annapolis. This case involves Governor O'Malley, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank, and Brother Insurance. The controller and the, Mr. Frost said that they protect corporations' interests. But when the state got involved, the state took forged checks and refused to return my money. Bank of America wants to file charges, but the state won't let me file charges because they're involved. So how are you going to?
protect yourself from being involved in a criminal act. Income tax evasion is a, a, a criminal act. Federal and state makes it a criminal act. I paid my taxes. My history shows my taxes, the money that I made. I was going from $260,000 to zero in less than a year. So where's all that money gone? Hello? Hello, I'm trying to find a proper number here. That's like, I'm out $2.6 million over 10 years, and we could have resolved this in 2008 when it happened. Scott Schellenberger knowingly filed false charges against me to try to keep this from coming out in the public eye, the role that they play in this corruption. Now, the Department of Justice already said that y'all been destroying evidence in the Democratic Party. Well, it goes up into the Comptroller's office because this case has been going on since 2010. Okay, would you like to come down to our office in Annapolis? Yes, I do. Okay, 80 Calvert Street. Have you been there? You've been there. You were there in February. Yes, I'll come down there again tomorrow morning. That'll be fine. We'll be happy to see you. And who do I speak to? Go to the front desk in the in the in the, uh, uh, Reverend, the front desk, and you ask to see the person that should be doing this is the investigation division. All right, I will ask for the investigation division. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye. The controller can't sit here and protect Governor O'Malley. That's the case. That's the case number. The city solicitor was involved in this because the city solicitor destroyed evidence as well. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake knew about this as well. All right. So let's get all this. Yeah, they'll take care of it down in the investigation department. I'll that's, take care. Of... I'll be there tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. So everything that I've been telling y'all. We're going to go down to the controller's office. That money for... Well, I'll be there. That money that they owe me, the money that they didn't pay, the controller got to deal with that. Brian Frost got to deal with that. Y'all got to protect my right to property, and y'all can't keep protecting Governor O'Malley and the Democratic Party. It's more than a damning report. You committed crimes against the people. You committed criminal acts. So we're going to go at you criminally.